Well, I think we got everything we need. Yep, time to go. There's nothing better than just get her done and just do it. Oh, well, hello there, friend and family. So good to see you again. Well, you can see old Mr. Tom's sort of kind of spiffied up. And we're about to head on into the capital city. And most of you know what today is. It's the start of my radiation treatments for my prostate cancer. And since you're here to give me a big send off, I thought I'd just say hi. I do appreciate all the thoughts and prayers. I'm not going to be videoing <laughs> driving on the way. Uh, I just want to listen to the wind, the sounds of the road, collect my thoughts about, you know, life in general. How I might have got here. What I can do better going forward. With all that said, now, if I see anything interesting along the way, and what have you, well, we might just pop back in again. So I do hope this finds y'all safe, well, and happy, wherever you are in this big, wide old world. Appreciate you giving me the send-off. And we'll see you a little bit more into the day, I'm sure, on the first day of my radiation treatments for prostate cancer. Thank y'all for coming by. Oh, well, there, there you are, friend and family. Hey, you met me over here at Alabama Cancer Care. Who knew? Well, as you can see, we've made it here. House did just fine. It's a blustery day today with some high winds gusting up. But she held on in there. I mean, she did shiver and shake a little bit. And I'm sure she's needing time to calm down as I am too. Yeah, I mean, she shivers and shakes a little bit when the big trucks go by, you know, the semis. You know, and now all the big, huge, massive pickup trucks. SUVs. Yeah, she's shy and bashful. She likes to stay away from all those. But anyway, we're here now. And we're going to sit out here. We have to drink a bunch of water to fill our bladder up. I didn't want to be on the road while I was doing that. You know, there ain't no bathroom. So I'm going to start that part of the procedure. And this is indicative of my particular course of treatment, which is the five different radiation treatments. I don't know much about what goes on in the 28 day, the 40 day, or whatever. So I can just document and tell you what they've told me to do and what I'm doing through this course of treatment that my doctors and I have selected for me and my prostate cancer. But I'll give you a little view outside and show you. Yeah, it's a gusty day in Mr. Tom's neighborhood. Well, you know, as always, you get the little camera out or your phone, you put it out there when everything's whipping around and it sort of calms down. But yeah, I think you can see that tree across the street whipping around some. I mean, there's not no real big trees right around this here uh, medical suburban plaza or whatever. Anyway, it's huge. Got a bunch of medical buildings that just run on and on and on. But as you can see, it's windy out there. Yeah, and I didn't bring a hat. So it's going to probably fuss up Mr. Tom's do. Yeah, we'll get over it. I'm old. I don't care. Yep, I don't think... No, maybe there was. There was a photographer from GQ right over there. Yeah, I don't think so. But yeah. It's a blustery day, about 80. And it looks like, if you look real close, the leaves are just starting to change. Some are changing even more. But hey, I got to get back to chugging water and get ready to get her on done. To saddle up and buckle up and get on down the road. We'll see you when we come out. Cool on down, Alice. It's toasty in here. Oh, yeah, I'm fine, Alice. We're done with that one for today. That was a long one. Oh, hey, friend and family. Um, I didn't mean to leave you out here in the car. You're probably all sweaty and moist and, yeah, breathing hard. Well, I got through the first one. And they said this one would be a longer one. Of course, it would have been, not that it makes any difference, 
nice to know that because you know they check everything out against the last MRI they do a little tweaking on your positioning before they start the treatment and everything so yeah went in there about 12.15 my appointment was 12.30 got me a little earlier and then I got out 128 so yeah right at you know about an hour not bad uh, I won't know if I glow in the dark till later on the night of course I, I think I might only have a little bit of a you know sheen but as this goes on who knows you know <laughs> But it don't hurt you. I mean, I can't. I can't tell no difference. None at all. But we'll have to see as we go through this. And I'm sure it takes a while for you know the after effects to come. And if if I have any or what they are, I'll share them with you. But anyway, I haven't eaten since oh sometimes early yesterday evening yeah because that's another thing you know I, I told you all about that in the last video where you got to clean everything out and do all that stuff for this particular course of treatment and starving is to put it lightly so I'm going to find some grub and I'm going to enjoy me a meal you know something I couldn't have in my little small town since I drove in to the capital city Okay. Ain't gonna be much, you know. I'm thinking maybe a Whopper at Burger King. I ain't had a Whopper in six years. Anyway, when we get home, we'll talk more. Okay? Hey, y'all can come on in Burger King if you want to. I ain't holding none of you back. Otherwise, y'all sit back down in your seat, buckle up, behave, and let's get her on down the road. Oh, there's my kitties. All right, Cleo, Speedy. Oh, Cleo, be nice. Yeah, you so happy Papa got home from the cancer center? Yeah, I told you. We'd be okay. Were you concerned? Come on, Spooky. You bringing up... Come on. No. Oh. What? <laughs> What's going on? You miss me, Spooky? Cleo, Cleo, quit picking on Speedy. Cleo! <laughs> they can be around your papa too. Y'all want some treats? Okay. Hold on. I'll get them for you. Okay, guys. You gotta move out of the way. Watch out. Come on, guys. Have you ever heard the saying, it's like herding cats? Well, now what you know what we're talking about. Here y'all go. We'll spread some out here. Right here. There we go. There y'all are. Since you were so happy to see Papa come home. And I was so happy to get home too. So hey, have you seen our friends and family? Uh-oh, I think I hear them walking up the drive now. I better sit down. So we can tell them all about our day. And how it all came out. Today on our first day of radiation treatment for prostate cancer. The journey to the cure. Woo! Woo! You all enjoying those, aren't you? Come on now, slow down. Share with everybody. Oh, well, there you are, friends and family. I thought I heard pecan shells underneath your feet as you were coming up the driveway and up the walk. Yeah, I had the kitty crew all here occupied with all those tasty frisky streets y'all keep sending and they want to thank you so yeah as you've seen we didn't have any problem getting over there today and we got it all finished up and then you know I have to apologize y'all all jumped in but you know we were too busy all talking between ourselves to turn the camera on and I know the reason I'm apologizing is 
I know all of you were sitting there and decided we should go to Cracker Barrel. But like I said, for whatever reason, I had a craving for a Whopper that I haven't had in six years. So that's exactly what I did. I went over to Burger King on Taylor Road, same road that takes me to the Alabama Cancer Care Center. And they have a special going on. You can get two Whopper Juniors for five bucks, which is plenty for me. And I got a large sweet tea. I was happy as I could be. Ooh, and I love those Whopper Juniors. And they made them up really right. Nice thick slice of tomato, some white onion strips, lettuce, ketchup, mustard, mayo. Woo! They did them up right. And they weren't chinsy on the toppings or the condiments either. They filled me right up. So yeah. Then we made the long drive home. And here we are. And as you saw, the kitty crew's even excited to see their little old papa has made it home. And as far as the treatment went, well, the only thing about this particular course of treatment, the five day, or yeah, the five treatment course is, they have to insert that uh, rectal balloon. Uh, that's extremely uncomfortable. Uh, the insertion tool is rather large, I might say. And that's the only part of it that I really felt. As far as the radiation treatment, they got some music going on, sort of remind you of some soft melodies. And you just lay there on the table while this machine rotates around you, I guess zapping you from what I've read and know. And I mean, it was over in about 20 minutes. Now, like I'd said earlier, this whole course of treatment today took an hour. But a lot of that was checking the MRI that I'd had before, right before this, repositioning me to the new MRI, marking my body with the marks so they can line me up on the next uh, treatment which I thought was going to be Friday, but it's going to be tomorrow. So there was a change in plans. Now he did say my bladder wasn't full enough and that I really need to do better with that tomorrow. They want you to have a full of a bladder as possible because that helps absorb the radiation too and reduces bladder irritation. And I thought I had done right. I drank a whole Coke when I got up, then, you know, I got all spiffied up, shaved, showered, <laughs> fixed my hair, even though earlier today we had gusting winds. So yeah, my dude became a nightmare. But at my age, I didn't care. Just give it a brush back and go on with it. Of course, I did have my pocket comb. I wonder if any of you guys out there still carry a pocket comb in your blue jeans. I do. And, uh, you know, we got done with it. No ill effects so far. But we'll go in tomorrow. And they said it should only take about 20 minutes because they've got all the new positioning marks based on the new MRI. But I've got to make sure my bladder's full. So they told me to make sure I drink two full bottles of bottled water one hour prior to the radiation treatment. And they'd asked me what I'd done, and like I told you, I'd had that 12 ounce Coke, I had a 12 ounce Gatorade, and about four ounces out of a Dasani, which I thought would be fine. Because as we get older, as you all might know, we old folks have a problem putting a whole lot in that bladder because it wants to come right out. So I didn't want to have too full of a bladder while I was riding over there because, you know, then I'd have to pull over and find a place to, you know, pee. I didn't want to have to do that. 
And I guess I really didn't know just how much I had to drink. But they gave me a little handout now. They probably gave it to me before and I forgot about it. So after I get done talking here, I've got to run out. And I'm going to give me some of that day sane. So I do it right, just like the handout says. Since they really didn't give a size. So I'll just get exactly what they show. And tomorrow, if they say anything, well, yep, I did exactly like you said. But hopefully I'll have my bladder filled up enough to get the treatment tomorrow, because if I don't, they'll have to postpone it till next Monday. But like I'd said earlier, you know, I thought there'd be a day skipped, but this week they're going to do one and then another one. And then next week they said it'll be Monday and Wednesday and maybe Thursday. And if that's the case, I'd be through with the five-day course of treatment. Or they may push that last one off till Monday. Dr. Suckercall is not there on Fridays, and he's the one that, you know, inserts the rectal device, the balloon, makes sure everything's positioned right, the prostate's in the right position, and all of that. That's why there was a change in plans. And I'm okay with all that. But so far, so good. So I just figured I'd give you all an update on my first day of radiation treatment to get the cure for prostate cancer. As I, and now so many of you, my friends and family, go with it through me too. And once again, I'd like to thank you all for all your thoughts and prayers and everything you do for us here. You know we love you, and the kitties love you too. As you can see, they love those treats. <laughs> yeah. They were gone almost before I could sit down. And they're all around the yard now, cleaning up. You know, as they always do, they wait till the camera comes out. But hey, I got to go down, pick up some bottled water. Now I have some here, but they're little small bottles. Figure I'll just get the exact same thing they show. And like I said, till we see you on that next episode of Mr. Tom's Neighborhood, y'all take care, stay safe. May God bless you as you bless those in your lives. We love you for everything you do. And until the next episode, I guess we can say goodbye and good night to all of you. Yep, there's Spooky's cleaning up. He's had his treat snack. As you can see, there's Cleo. She's cleaning up, of course. Yeah, Speedy's cleaning up too. <laughs> My yard, Panthers. There's something else, but I love them to death. Later, all.